In this video, we're going to look at elements, compounds, mixtures, and particle diagrams. An element is one type of atom. We can show atoms using spheres, something that looks like this. When you draw on paper, it appears 2D. Here are three examples of the types of particle you could see in an element particle diagram. A compound is two or more types of element. This word you can replace with atom, if you wish. Chemically joined together in a fixed ratio. Here are four examples of the types of particles you could see in a particle diagram of a compound. Notice that they're made of two or more different kinds of element chemically joined together. We show that they're chemically joined together by drawing them touching each other. And we know that it's two different kinds of element because the atoms are drawn in different ways, either by using different sizes or different colors. A mixture is two or more elements and or compounds not chemically joined together. Here's an example of a mixture. We know it's a mixture because it's made of two different kinds of atoms or elements which are not chemically joined together and we can tell they're not chemically joined together because there's distance between the particles. Let's take a look at the first example of a particle diagram. What does the particle diagram show? Well, this particle diagram shows a compound. Why? Because it's made of two or more different kinds of atom chemically joined together. And it's in a fixed ratio as well. You can see for every one red atom, we have two of the white atoms. Now, remember, in real life, atoms don't have a color. It's only when you have lots of atoms together do you see these properties. Here's our example two. What does the particle diagram show? The particle diagram shows a mixture of a compound and an element. How do we know from the particle diagram that it's a mixture? Well, the compound and the element are not chemically joined together. Here is example three. What does the particle diagram show? Well, the particle diagram shows an element. Why? Because there's only one type of atom. Here's our final example. What does the particle diagram show? Well, at first you might think it's a compound, but actually these two particles are made up of a different ratio of atoms. You can see in the first one, you can see that there's two white particles and one black particle chemically joined together. Whereas in the second one, you can see there's actually two black particles and one white particle chemically joined together. So we have two different compounds, which means the particle diagram shows a mixture of two compounds. Why? Because each compound is made of two different types of atom chemically joined together, and the two different compounds are not chemically joined together. Now I want you to pause the video here and identify what each of the particle diagrams shows and explain why. Here are the answers for the first three. Here are the answers for the last three. Well done if you got the last one correct. It's a bit tricky. The reason it's a mixture is because the two different types of atom are not in a fixed ratio. You would find this in a mixture such as an alloy, which is a mixture of elements, at least one of which is a metal. Like the video if you got all six questions correct.